Well, welcome back to my studio. I'm working on a new commission today. This is a Christmas gift. And it's for one of my collectors who has purchased a bunch of my paintings and she has done several for gifts for different people. This one is especially for a niece of hers. And it's going to be an evening scene. We've got the, the two Cardinals here. I showed you a picture of the entire painting and this is in the Adirondack Mountains overlooking a, a lake here. So I'm going to be working on the lake and the reflections of the, the setting, well the, the, set, the sky lit by the setting sun but then the moon is up there and in the bottom there's a couple of, you don't see it in this, but in the picture I showed you of the entire painting shows a couple of books at the base of the tree like someone was there reading and left and forgot their books at the end of the day and the books the titles on the books are going to be Love You to the Moon on one of them and then on back is on the back binder of the other book and so then we have the crescent moon up here in the evenings, early evening sky so I start out, I've painted my mountains these with mixtures of ultramarine blue plus my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue plus one part of alizarin crimson plus white. The furthest mountain has more of the blue in it to make it recede. The closer mountain has more of the mud in it, which makes it a little warmer and makes that come forward. So I start using some of the mountain color in my water just below the mountain because it's reflecting down in to the water. But then I start bringing some of my sky color in here. And my sky mixtures are, well, this is a mixture of my mud plus alizarin crimson plus a tiny, tiny bit of cadmium red light plus white. And I'm going to paint the entire water with, with this mixture first. And as I get down here, I'm adding even some more of the, uh, actually some of the blue from the back mountain. Because the sky, the reflection gets a little bit darker and cooler as we come down. I'll work around the bears in a minute. But then this is my... Again, this is my mud plus alizarin crimson plus a touch of cadmium red light plus white. And these mountains will also reflect down in, but first I'm just working on the base color of the water and I want to have the reflections of the moon and the, the warmer tones of the sky. But first I want to get this, the water just entirely covered with my darker darker shades and then we'll work the lighter into it. The bears represent Corey's family. And they, she, they have three children and Corey and, and her husband and their three kids. And it's kind of a fun way of, of, of representing the family. Now this again is the reflection of the mountain. And at the base of the mountain, the water is going to be, I'm going to use a little mix of my ultramarine blue plus white. This doesn't have to be, this kind of just get a little, little lighter edge along the base of the mountain. As the wind is blowing that water and it just catches the light. A little bit of my darker mixture in here. Now I'm going to start bringing in some of the warmer mixes. This is alizarin crimson plus, it's some of this color plus alizarin crimson plus a little cadmium orange plus white. And this just brings some of that warm tones from the sky into the 
into the water. And then I, at the top of the mountain, because it's lighter here, then I bring some lighter tones in here. This just gives the feeling of that sky reflecting down into that water. This is early evening and the sky is still warm from the sunset. So you still get those really pretty colors and we want to get a little darker as we come over here because we're going to have reflections of the moon. And this is a mixture of my white plus a little bit of cadmium yellow medium plus a little tiny bit of mud just to dull it just a little bit. But the, the moon reflects down into the... I've got this reflection here a little bit too big. So I just can come here, make it a little bit smaller. But your reflection is just directly below the moon. And it's just a hint of reflections into the water. Now I'm not going to do any in here because this mountain is going to be coming down in there. And it just little glimmers. The water's moving a little bit, a little bit of a breeze on it, so the reflections are, are broken. So that will give us our reflection of the moon into the water. And then I'll use my darker, darker colors then to work in here around, around the bears. But this shows you how I do the reflections of the, of the sky down into the water. I'm going to bring a little bit more of my darker. And again, I don't come down here because this, this mountain is going to be reflecting down a little bit. I just as we come down here there's going to be a little bit of this warmth coming in a little bit down here and I'll have along the top of this mountain there's a little bit more of the orange the lighter again that's my cadmium red um, that's alizarin crimson plus the little bit of mud plus cadmium red light plus a little bit of cadmium orange plus white. This is just a little bit brighter. And I soften that when we come back and fix my moon reflections. It'll be reflecting down in. I'm going to bring a little bit of darker just along here. Get my mountains in here. It just, it, doing reflections, it's really easier to work wet into wet. You get, because reflections are soft, if I tried to do these after the base coat on my water had dried, it would be really difficult to make the reflections appear soft. And let's do a little bit of a, just a broken line in here. That's a little bit hard, so I just clean out my brush and my thinner. I use a paper t my paper tissue, this is bathroom tissue, and I clean out my brush, and then I can just drag it over. Bring a little bit of this color right here. And that'll come in from behind the mountain. Do one little more just in here. There we go. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. And if you ever want a commission, please feel free to contact me through the comments section. I also have a blog where you can follow the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting 
as well as the others I do. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of the YouTube video, the address for my blog. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I just, again, I really appreciate you watching my videos.